Hey guys, it's your girl Corrine and I'm back for another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my dog ear revision. If you'd like to hear and see what my dog ear revision is looking like now and the results of that revision, please stay tuned for the video. Welcome back guys. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I'm excited about this video because I get a chance to let you get an up close and personal look at the results of my dog ear revision. Most of you know I posted a video a little while back talking about having a little bit of puckering at the ends of my incisions. Now don't get me wrong, I feel and see that my incision is so low and I feel like it's so perfect. I was even kind of scared and hesitant to get the revision. But I knew I did not like the puckering at the end of my incision and my uh, surgeon did not either. So he opted to go ahead and uh, do a revision on the ends of the incision. It wasn't anything major, you know, it wasn't like, oh my God, it looks horrible. It was just eh, the little aesthetics. And because he's a perfectionist and I am too, hey, we decided to go ahead and get rid of the puckering. So I'm gonna insert a video and let you guys see what that looks like. All right, guys, so I have been on, did my morning workout today and I had on my j Sculpt belt. So that is the imprints that you see. So please excuse those imprints, but I wanted to show you guys um, where I am right now with my um, dog ear revision. So as you can see here, my scar is extremely low and looks very good. Turn to the side so you guys can see the flatness of my abdomen here. And I want to show you guys the, star, the scar and how it is looking. Look at that, guys. It is looking so good, so flat compared to where it was before. So I definitely, and I'm taping the this is the 3M tape that I have on it. And this is the other side. It looks great, guys. But I definitely want to come by and give you guys a look. I've been massaging this area because it was a little hard to the touch here, but I've been massaging it and that hardness is softening up. But this is my incision as you can see he corrected this right here and then he corrected this right here no more puckering looks fantastic scar is super low i don't want to take it too low but you guys can see here that the scar is super low and i'm getting ready to try on my bathing suit bottom so you guys can see how low the scar is compared to where my bathing suit will sit. But I just wanted to give you guys that update on that revision. Let's talk a little bit about um, the dog ears. If you don't know where the dog ears are, and I'll try to insert some pictures here so that way you can see, it's basically some bunching at the end of a bunching of skin at the end of the incisions. It can be a lot, it can be a little bit, you know, it just all depends on how the incision healed itself. It's very, very common. Don't think, oh my God, I got a dog ear. You know, there was some medical malpractice. No, it is very common to get dog ears because of how they are, you know, sealing and, and closing the incisions. And so sometimes it will result in a dog ear, which is like the puckering or the you know swelling or extra skin at the end of the incision. So let's talk a little bit about the healing. The healing process for now, I, I don't feel anything. Like there's no pain, no anything. But when he did the revision, there was a lot of tenderness in that area. He did numb it up really, really well, but there was a lot of tenderness in that area. My right side, which is the side that I had been having trouble with since I did, I had to vomit when I was about seven days post-op, I wanna say. I vomited, those of you that, have, if you have not watched that video, make sure you go back and watch that video of what happened and what resulted in me vomiting. That was really the worst thing that, could have, that I could have done after a tummy tuck, right? So uh, 
I've always struggled with this right side. So they're right above where the revision is. It's a little hard, not a whole lot hard, but just a little bit hard. But I've noticed as I've been massaging it daily, it is definitely softening up. So I'm thinking if I continue to massage it for the next couple of weeks, that hardness will be gone. This left side, perfect. It, when I show you the footage, you'll be able to see that the results from the revision are beautiful. I mean, I cannot thank Dr. Webb enough for being such a perfectionist and being such an artist at his craft and what he does to make his work look absolutely amazing. So with that being said, the healing process, it took me probably about a week and a half, almost two weeks to fully heal and for things to close up on their own. Uh, I did, I was wide awake <laughs> on the table when he uh, performed the revision. He numbed it up really, really well. And he just, I could feel, not feel what he was doing. I could sense what he was doing but I could not feel anything. And that was the weird part for me. But I literally went in that day, he numbed me up, opened it up, sewed it up. I mean, it was, it took about, I would say about 45 minutes to do both sides. And he, you know, put the gauze on there, you know, sanitized it up really, really good. And I was out of the door. I was still numb for a while. And I just took over the counter, you know, medications to deal with the discomfort and the pain. Um, I had to stop my squats and uh, ab workouts for a few weeks. So I'm just now getting back into getting my ab workouts back consistently, which I've, I've been seeing amazing results. So I'm excited about that. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that it was very informative for you. And don't be afraid of dog ears. Don't be afraid of the revision if you have to have a revision. It comes along with the territory. And make sure that you are reading the information and the contracts that you're assigning so you'll know if your surgeon will call, charge you for revisions. In my case, I did not get charged for my revision. It came along with my package, along with my uh, post-op care visits and everything like that. So I'm coming to an end of my post-op visits because I will be six months post-op here shortly. And so it's kind of bittersweet because I'm gonna miss going into the office and talking to Dr. Webb and his uh, staff and just making sure everything is looking the way it's supposed to be looking and making sure my results are what I paid for, which they absolutely are, they absolutely are. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I don't have any issues with answering any questions you may have, but just know your question may be in a previous video. So make sure you're checking out all of the videos concerning my mommy makeover so that you don't miss anything and that you, you'll get the answers to your questions if I have not already answered it. Listen, I love you guys so much for watching. If you have not already subscribed, please make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, knock that notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a video. Listen, I love you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.